Welcome to the week 35 update for the Hudson Police Department renovation and expansion project. We're currently standing in the lobby of the Hudson Police Department, which is undergoing renovation. The lobby is currently closed to the public, but we'll let you know as soon as it opens. The HPD lobby will be undergoing renovation for uh, the next couple months. It's going to remain in its current condition while the uh, project continues, but we're hoping that the, uh, the new lobby floor will be completed by the end of March. This will affect some of the operations the next uh, about week and a half, uh, but after that we'll, the, the lobby and dispatch will be open for normal business. Guys, welcome to HPD Dispatch. As you can see, it's under extreme renovation. Uh, this is going to be new walls, new uh, cabinetry, ceiling, and flooring. And we're also going to be breaking into an old space, which will allow our dispatchers to have a uh, break room with a full kitchen, an area for them to relax uh, in between calls. Currently, I'm in the new HPD break room. This area is going to have cabinets along the back, refrigerator, uh, microwave, and then there's going to be cutting a door in here so they're going to have direct access from dispatch into this area. The records division is also currently under construction. They'll be out of this area for about two weeks, but after those two weeks, the records employees will be back in here ready to serve you. One of the improvements the Hudson Police Department was looking for during the renovation project was putting the legal and the records divisions closer together. The wall behind me was taken down and now there's direct access from legal to records. Hello everyone, this is MPO Jason Downey. Uh, this is our new office. I would like to welcome you all to uh, the brand new wellness officer officer in Haven's uh, crash pad as well. So usually she can run around the station as well, but for the most part, she uh this is her home base this is uh her bed and looking to upgrade that a little bit as well so um this is where a place where i'll have some quiet places to meet with officers and to meet with uh, town people if we need to uh, and just be a helping hand that anyone needs to reach out to so it's great to have my own space you know so i can have some time to meet with uh, officers to you know kind of talk about and focus in on wellness and and just overall you know the health of everybody here thank you very much Welcome to the new men's locker room. The area we're standing in right now actually used to be the female locker room. As you can see, we tore down a wall here and opened up the area to include the female, the old female locker room and the male locker room. This allows for an expansion of our lockers and now we can accommodate 51 officers just in this space alone. The female locker room on the other side of the building has 16 lockers just dedicated for our female officers. The new carports got their first test during the most recent storm. As you can see behind me, they did an excellent job keeping the snow off the cruisers so the patrol officers could get out to emergency calls quickly. Welcome to the HPD break room. This area is finally completed. This is a really important space for us to provide officers a place to gather around together, camaraderie, Officers spend a lot of times away from their families, meals at night and holidays, weekends, and this is a great space for them to come together and uh, build that camaraderie and esprit de corps. Thanks again for joining us for another weekly update. As always, we want to thank HCTV and North Point Construction for all their assistance during this project.